So, good morning everyone. <sighs> Haven't really updated you guys since I got here. I'm currently in Barbados. I'm staying at an Airbnb to do a bit of training before um, the Santo Domingo open, which is in like basically two weeks time, two and a half weeks. Uh, I came in day before yesterday, so yesterday was my full day. I got my first training session done, which was nice, and today I'm continuing. So I'm basically going to be training here every day, and yeah, I'm excited to see where my level is at at the end of this stint, because yeah, for this year, training has been very inconsistent uh, since going to Germany have yeah haven't been able to find something permanent and consistent so but in other news I'm just gonna make some lunch I just had some coffee I didn't really eat a lot this morning so I'm making lunch early then I have to get some more studying done before heading to this evening's training so let's see what we're gonna do uh i'm just gonna do something very quick and simple because i'm kind of hungry so i have the long grain um and wild rice i think i had something similar to this before so it should be good should be fast and yeah it has a good mix of carbs and protein so let's go. Oh my gosh, it's lighting. So, honestly, it's just a cook up because I put the rice and the peas and the vegetables in one pot and just sear the chicken in a different pot. The only thing I'm missing is my green seasoning. But other than that, it's pretty good.
accounts are wrong. Not that the business is wrong. No one's interested in that. We want to know if that balance sheet and that profit and loss are fairly stated. So what's the chance there's been an error? What's the chance it's not being picked up by the client's internal controls? Those errors at two levels. The account as a whole could be wrong, and in any scenario, there might be one or two of those. to the top of the cliff. So right now I'm packing my bags to go back home. So pretty much a work in progress because I have a lot of my training clothes washing. And then I have one more session before I leave early tomorrow morning. Yeah, but other than that, it's basically done. longer than a few minutes later. Okay, well now I'm editing a lot of my vlogs to 
upload for the next couple of weeks and I realized that I didn't close all the Barbados vlog. Yeah, so I want to say thanks to everyone who helped me in that two week stint, coaches, players, everyone. Okay, and some people were also asking me about training in Barbados as opposed to training in Germany. I'd say they're pretty similar in terms of, you know, morning and evening and doing on court and gym sessions. But I'd say the, the meat of the actual training was a lot different. Uh, but I really enjoyed both of them. Uh, in Germany, it was a lot more... There was a lot of shorter intervals, but I feel because it was shorter, you, you couldn't really make mistakes um, when it came to drills. So that one was uh, a bit more mentally, uh, like you always had to keep that at the back of your head. Uh, felt a bit more pressure not to make errors. And um in Barbados because it was I think I really needed the training in Barbados as it was so close to tournament I only had two weeks to prepare again um as I couldn't really train in Trinidad uh but Barbados was a lot more longer intervals when it came to drills on court so for example it might be 10 minutes um and you're working on court um, two versus one something like that um, whereas in Germany m may just be a couple minutes and you rotate and you do uh, quite a few rounds of that but I also really enjoyed Barbados training because it was very physical <laughs> uh, and that was something I definitely needed going into Santo Domingo. I felt a lot more confident. Um, and I wish I had something similar to that for El Salvador. But I didn't think about, you know, training there leading up to El Salvador. It was very physical, but at the same time, uh, I had a lot of thinking that you had to be always on the button as well yeah so it definitely was a battle like the first couple of days i don't know what happened to me <laughs> i felt like my body well i should say my body felt like it was on a vacation and then the first training i had there i felt like i was going to die but i was okay i survived i survived the two weeks yeah so i'd say Overall, it was a really good trip, really good training. The only thing was I couldn't understand anything for the two weeks I was there. <laughs> uh, it was... I didn't realize how difficult it was to understand Bajans in their element. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely have to work on that. <laughs> because to me, it sounded like a, a completely different language. I mean, I started learning German, and I felt like I understood Germans more than Bajans. So, so if I ever come back, I'm definitely, I hopefully will be a lot better in understanding you guys. <laughs> yeah, so I'd say overall I had a lot of fun, definitely learned a lot, and yeah, ready to push for Santo Domingo, so stay tuned for those vlogs.